Klos, President of DesignWorks USA. We're here at the BMW Group Design Works. Ken Gross, a, co a colleague and journalist friend of mine, and I are going to ask you a couple of questions about BMW Design Works. How many clients do you have at Design Works other than BMW? We have throughout the year uh, roughly between 70 and 75 different clients. How and why is your business model unique? Um, DesignWorks USA is the only creative design agency which is uh, or who is working at the same moment of time for automotive industry for the BMW Group. Um, all are premium brands, so that is on, on top of speciality, and at the same moment for across the industry uh, for uh, non BMW clients. I'd like to ask you as a designer. Having watched BMW's evolution over the last few years, led by Chris Bangle, uh, who I think is brilliant, and a lot of people would say controversial, uh, with Chris no longer part of design, and obviously some of the things he influenced we will see for a couple of years, are we going to see a radical change in BMW design now that Chris has moved on? Exteriors and interiors? I think we, uh, we have worked all over the last years as a big team, so and even DesignWorks is part of the BMW group design team in a wider sense, and the whole design process is um, taking in steps, but it's also pretty evolutionary, so I think we will not see radical changes. I guess my follow-up question would be, is there another Chris Bangle in the works, someone who will become a world-renowned designer who happens to work at BMW? The overall publicity of designers has changed and designers become more and more uh, public faces. Is that good or bad? It's a different question. But on the other hand, it's showing uh, there is such an interest in, in the profession of design. And I think that is, should be seen as very positive and it makes it also easier for us to, to engage with the rest of the world and discuss our ideas and develop in dialogue instead of sitting somewhere behind the walls and spinning or dreaming and then maybe the ideas are not appropriate and therefore a dialogue like this is very important. And Ken Rose talked just a minute ago mm -hmm. about uh, the evolution of BMW design and he said it's going to pretty much go or change a little bit but not radically. Is, is there any firm that you have worked with that just said we want something completely different? The brand had from the uh, here comes a client to mind like, like Embrea, an um, aircraft producer out of Brazil. They came to us and they wanted to reposition and improve their position in the marketplace. And they gave us uh, more or less a blank sheet of paper. Uh, and they wanted to develop a new look of their brand values, how they're being perceived definitely helped to create a completely new experience in terms of aircraft interiors, what we have shown in the Phenom 100 and, and 300 and also uh, our latest project for Embraer, the, the Legacy. How do you and your designers go five, ten years out trying to, to imagine? Do you have an exercise to do that? Um, mostly we become designers, I think, pretty early in our lives, not only going to university, and studying deeper the tools. I think it already starts in a certain way in childhood that you have different, as designers, we have different ways to express our ideas, to do little sculptures in clay or to, to build little models or to sketch and draw. And that's a way um, what we sometimes call visual thinking. I mean, it's the idea develops in our head, but it's already maybe in our hand. And then it's on the paper and it's taking shape. And even if it's maybe still a pretty rough sketch, but it's maybe already communicating the idea or yeah, a new something what is haven't seen before. Designers, we constantly live in the future. We are surrounded by things from today, but what, what you see today is already the result from a couple of years ago. Uh, we constantly think in the future, what is next, and because we're constantly in this world, also for, for our clients, maybe for clients who have 
with our products a lead time of two years. Some clients have a lead time of seven years. We have a pretty good understanding how the future is forming. Uh, and in particular working across the industry, it's like the future is blurry, it's like foggy, but we have elements like aircraft industry, like it's like puzzle pieces, which are then building slowly a clearer idea, clearer picture of the future. Verena, thank you very much. You're welcome.